This is Mobile App Development TV with John Houghton. John Houghton with Mobile App Development TV here with Eric Schoenfeld. You are the producer of the show. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. We've just had a great first day and uh, ready for a second day. We're going to go see some uh, motorcycle tricks. Can't wait to see that. So you probably have a really good bird's eye perspective on what's going on, what are the trends. That's what everybody wants to know out of these types of shows. What do you see is going on and, and what are some big trends that you see with, with uh, mobile apps? So in particular with mobile, uh, I see a, a variety of things. It depends on what you're talking about, consumer or enterprise. But let's start with consumer. So in the consumer world, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, highly designed apps that uh, you know do one thing very well. Uh, here at Demo, we had a mobile session today, and uh, we had companies that uh, you know are kind of this whole idea of a remote control for the real world, right? So we had a company called Ballet Anywhere, which uh, you press a button and uh, you get a valet to come and park your car. Uh, and uh, so think of that, it, it, it's sort of the Uberization of the world. You press a button and something happens, you get a service. Um, another really interesting company called Skill Pocket, which uh, is, uh, was, you know, if you want to find a designer or a marketing person, if you're a small business or you're a startup, uh, it's sort of a marketplace on your mobile phone for that uh, particular need. And there's a lot of uh, design tweaks that they've learned from other apps, uh, you know, like TaskRabbit or like Uber, where people are raiding each other. And hopefully that way you get uh, liquidity in that market. And you also know whether you can trust the other person, whether that, that, that person, uh, you know, is a is a, is a good uh, design or whatever. Um, and then uh, on the other uh, side of the spectrum, we've saw a lot of really interesting fundamental technologies uh, that can help a lot of mobile app uh, developers. So there's a company called PathSense the, that was started by the founder of Trapster. If you remember Trapster, that was sort of the original app that told you if uh, there was a, uh, a cop uh, you know, speed trap somewhere. And uh, what they learned from that was that the GPS is the largest drain on your battery. And the GPS ends up being the largest drain on, on your battery for almost every single app. Because every app that has GPS on, that's being drained. And so what they've done is they figured out a way to uh, have the accuracy of GPS without relying on GPS. So they're looking at something called inertial navigation. So they look at other cues and they map that onto a map that they already know where you are and then and then they're able to place you uh, you know, in, in uh, a vehicle for navigation apps, that that's where they're starting car apps. So things are, apps are getting more advanced and definitely things are getting into more segmented areas. Do you think that for somebody who's thinking about starting to develop a mobile app, maybe they're a stakeholder or they are an investor, do you think things are getting easier or harder just in terms of hiring and, and putting together teams? I think uh, it's easier to develop uh, mobile apps because there's more tools and there's, uh, there's, there's more ways to do it. Uh, it kind of depends what kind of mobile app you're talking about, right? I mean, there are, it, it, an app has got, getting, gotten to the point of getting to the point of a website, right? There's, there's a lot of website tools out there that I, as a non-engineer, can create a website, right? I can use WordPress or I can use another sort of CMS system to create a website. And I think we're, we're moving that direction with, with uh, mobile apps as well, where people can basically customize and create their own mobile app. But if you're talking about you know, professional apps that, uh, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, hopefully millions or tens of millions of people will use. Apps of good usability. Yeah, right. Then you run into, uh, you know, resource constraints, which is mostly talent, right? Everyone is looking for a mobile developer. Everyone's looking for a mobile designer. And it's uh, a matter of whether you can find those people or not. Now, it turns out that uh, there's a lot of very talented engineers overseas who are coming up to speed on uh, iOS and Android, and they can they can they can develop uh, you know apps just as well as uh, anyone over here. And if you know how to tap into those uh, into that talent pool, that's a way that you can economically create an app, uh, but um, you know, uh, b but not have to deal with all of the competition here in the U.S. necessarily for the talent. Right, and if you know how to manage them and communicate with them and. Deal, deal with the issues. There's other other issues, right? There, there's other man management issues uh, as well. But uh, I, I find that uh, it's a lot of times there's a, a there, that 
there's the designers are here in the U.S. and then the the backend developers or the iOS developers are are overseas. There's people are splitting up, uh, you know, the work that way, um, just because the the front end UI and UX is tends to be a little bit more, uh, you know, culturally defined, right? Something that might uh, play well uh, in Thailand might not play well here. So you kind of want to have somebody who understands the mindset of your primary customers. Right. I've even found in Eastern Europe that they might design something that will, r would really play well there, but doesn't really have, doesn't really ring, doesn't resonate with uh, uh, U.S. audiences. Yeah, it, 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 uh, sometimes it looks like something out of the, the 90s. Uh, uh, not always, but uh, there definitely is a different uh, sensibility or um, aesthetic. aesthetic, yeah. All right, Eric Schoenfeld, Demo 2014, thank you. Okay, thank you for being here. You have been watching Mobile App Development TV with John Houghton. Mobile App Development TV is part of the Mobilecast Media blog. For more information, please visit mobilecastmedia.com slash blog. Thank you.